Greetings everyone, this is Bala here, and welcome back to Sheep, Dog, and Wolf. Last time, we defeated the third secret stage of this game in level B1 that is behind that wall. And this time, we will go to the next stage, which is a snowy stage. Alright, so first of all, let's see what the map tells us. This map looks very straightforward. And also we've got a, a couple of new items. And a fusible mine, you can put it down and it will go off after 5 seconds. Put it in a spot you want to protect. That line right there. A place to protect something. I still do not understand what that means, because there is no place in this game that you need to protect with a mine. Ever. Also, we got a hairdryer, which uh, gives off hot air. Yes. <laughs> Alright. We got a mailbox right here that has a fluid inside of it. Our trusty old friend that did very well with Sam last time around. And we also have binoculars here, which can see very far. But, uh, I don't know why we have them here. Like, this is as far right as it can go. Why do these exist here? I don't know. Actually, that reminds me. There are some settings in this game that can be changed. Fog. You can turn down the fog and see more of the level. This resets every time to the smallest, uh, to the original. But now I can see a lot more. Yay! I'm gonna have to change that from now on every episode, so uh, hopefully I don't forget to do that. Anyway, let's move on with this level, shall we? We've got our trusty flute, which is obviously going to work again, right? Nah, that would be too easy. Sam the Sheepdog is now learning. If we could use the flute every level, this level would be too easy. This game would be too easy. You should you show off. I can do it too, Sam. Do what? Place mines? What do you mean by two? I couldn't place down mines before. What are you talking about? Well, uh, let's just avoid those mines for the time being. They don't seem very friendly. You don't normally think about mines being very friendly when you think about mines because they go explodey loo and explodies are not very nice when they are armed against you. Let's wait for Sam to pass. And now, I want to talk about something. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sheep here. I actually counted the amount of sheep in each level, and the count is very weird. For the longest time, I actually thought that the amount of sheep in each level decreases by one every time you get one. But it turns out that's not the case. There are 16 sheep in the first level, 13 in the, in the second one, then 14, then 13, and now it's 11. I think the game was supposed to have a decreasing amount of sheep in every level, but... I guess that's not true. I thought that would be a really cool easter egg if that was the case, but unfortunately that for some reason doesn't seem to be the case, which is really weird. I would have personally done that myself if I was the creator, but I don't know, maybe they... Maybe this didn't become true because of some reason? I'm not sure why it would, but oh well. I am one cold duck. Ooh. You there, soldier! You gotta deactivate this mine. It's simple. First, observe the light wave rhythm. When it disappears, approach the mine and press the action button, which will bring up the control panel. Watch for the green light, 
Then observe in which order the buttons light up. Be careful, because when the light is red, you then have to light the buttons in the same order and at the right time. If you succeed, the mine is deactivated. If you make a mistake by using the wrong button or press at the wrong moment, boom! Don't let me down, soldier. Good luck. You'll need it. So defeating these mines is like a combination of Simon Says and a rhythm game. Once the shockwave goes away, press the action button near it and you will defuse it. You have to press the right buttons in the right places. 1, 2, 3, press. 1, 2, 3, press. The first mine is pretty simple. You can also pick them up. The second mine is a bit more tricky. You got action, run, and third person. Action, run, and third person. This is a little bit more difficult in the PC version because normally you would just pay attention to the location of the button that you have to press instead of what the button actually does. On PlayStation you've got the circle, you've got the triangle, you've got the square, you've got the... Uh, what's the last one? The X button, right? Did I see that one already? Maybe not. Anyway, you don't need to defuse the mines however. The mine will only explode if you are inside the blue zone while the blue zone is active. And apparently that thing can blow up sheep as well. Alright. In that case, let me go ahead and defuse this last mine as well. I don't wanna I don't want to defuse too many mines. There's no particular need to. I forgot the order. I did it. My memory is good, even if I don't think it is. Alright. Yeah, the, the mines only explode if you are in contact with the blue zone while the blue zone is active. And around it. Otherwise, they don't do much. You can also place down the bombs again. They will activate after 5 seconds. And by activation, I don't mean they the explosion, what I mean is the uh, the act of receiving their blue circles back. And this puzzle is uh, self-explanatory. This took me a while to figure out. You need to stay on this platform along the seesaw along with the sheep to make sure that the seesaw doesn't go into the water because it can do that. It does move. And falling into the water would be a bad thing, especially cold water that is very cold. I would probably turn us into an ice cube. And speaking of ice cubes, there is a clock that we need to get to using an ice cube. Luckily, we can turn this rock into an ice cube if we throw it into the water and there's a clock over there, along with a rocket that probably helps us escape that platform after we put the rock in the water. Alright. Beautiful. This camera does not want to give me control. Alright, that's fine. Let's get the clock. And let's return. There's a lot of items in this level. Alright. There's also a way back, way back here. If you walk on these cliffs. I don't really know... I don't really know why they are there. Maybe you, if you miss something, can go, you can go back. But uh, yeah, anyway. This is another catapult. This is the third time that you're supposed to figure out how a catapult works. Step 1, adjust. Step 2, fire. Since I already did the secret uh, level, we already know how the catapult works. But this would be normally the time when you'll learn about it. And the first time you see it. That is way too far. Let's adjust it a little bit. A little bit lower. About here maybe. Let's see, is this good enough? Almost. 
we will put it just a little bit lower. There we go. And we will now put the heat on the catapult. And here you go. Perfect. Now, when I first time came here, I did not figure out what you have to do next. What you're supposed to do is you're, is you're supposed to take this rock and then place it down on the catapult and then fling yourself to the platform yourself. I, for some reason, did not think about that possibility, so I did not use that. Do you want to know what I did? Well, what I did was something really dumb. I saw this way back, I thought this had to be here for a reason, I did not think this was here so you could avoid getting stuck. So what I did instead is just simply go backwards, thinking I had to go backwards. And I got back to the circle in a really dumb way. Can you figure it out how I did it? Do you know how I did it? You probably don't because who would? Only speedrunners would, I guess. I jumped on this rock, then jumped on this thing, and I am now floating in air. This is the thing you can do. And you can just continue jumping. The dog becomes very confused. And... The dog is continuing to be very confused. And that's how I defeated that level. By sequence breaking, or boundary breaking that is. And that's that level. I made it more difficult for myself than it needed to be, but you know what? I defeated it, and that's all that matters. And one more! Alright. Thank you for watching this episode. That has been level 6, I believe. And next time... We will count the sheep one more time to see if this trend continues of having one less sheep per level. I haven't counted all of the levels, so I'd like to know it myself. Alright, take care everyone.